What a beautiful trip down memory lane. I'm down to go down memory lane anytime it's gonna inspire something beautiful like this sound. Yo, I got something to show you. Check this out. This is me in 2008, 2009 when I used to party hard. When I say hard, I'm talking. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and even sometimes on Sundays. You're like, last call for alcohol. I'm like, let me get one more move in. Mm. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> this is at a place called Ace Hotel in Palm Springs where we used to get it in all the time. After we leave this place, we would find ourselves at Jack in the Box. I was gonna say enjoying, but eating their big chicken sandwich. So this is my new series, which is called this recipe reminds me of where I'll take an image, I'll take an item, or I even might bring a guest on the show that can inspire what we're making on this week's or on this episode. So, like I said, that photo reminds me of the crispy chicken sandwich. So today we're gonna make a crispy Cajun, extra crispy Cajun. Neighbor just coming. Sorry guys, I'll be back. Chicken sandwich using lion's mane. This is a big, big lion's mane. We're talking like two pounds. Something like this may cost you anywhere between 20 to $30, but I can make one, two, three, maybe four meals out of this. So today we're only gonna use probably about this much of this. And I'm gonna try something I haven't done before where I'm going to cook all the water out and get the lion's mane compressed so it's very meaty and have flavor. Then I'm gonna batter it and make our crispy Cajun lion's mane sandwich. This is my first time doing this, but I got a good feeling it's gonna come out good. Get ready, let's go. All right, we got a nice size piece here. I'm gonna cut off the substrate first. We don't want no dirt. We're gonna clean all that off next. But I think this one would be perfect for two patties. So I'm gonna cut it right down the middle and I'm gonna press both of these into our patty. Nobody trying to eat dirty lion's mane. So what I normally do is just take like a nice brush and try to brush all the particles off the lion's mane. Um, you do not want to submerge lion's mane into the water because it will absorb all that water and make it difficult to cook and it may even change the taste. So what else I'm gonna do, if I can't get all the particles, I could, you know, pat it into a little water and get in there, but do not submerge. Lion's mane has plenty of water already in there. So we're gonna use, utilize the water that's in the lion's mane to cook this down. Look at all that water. You can add a little salt and pepper and smoked paprika. Now we don't want to overcook it because we still want to keep some of that size. So I think that is good enough for one of our patties. All right, now we have our lion's mane patties that we're going to batter next. A little smaller than I expected, so you could definitely make them bigger. But for the buns I have, I think these are going to be perfect. Now let's make the batter. First, we're gonna make our dry batter. We're using spelt flour. This is something I started using more often recently. I truly love the texture that it provides. And also, I feel like it has a, has a little bit more flavor than regular flour. Some tapioca, add a little salt. We're gonna add a little pepper, a little paprika, cayenne pepper. Bring a little heat to this thing. Now we want to mix all of our dry ingredients first before we add our sparkling water. Add in our sparkling water while we're mixing. Now, if your batter is not thick enough, it's okay to add a little bit more of the spelt flour in there to thicken it up. Now we're going to make our dry batter. Let's add some panko, spelt flour, Italian seasoning, dry minced garlic, and dry minced onions. Now we gotta keep it real. This won't be a crispy Cajun lion's mane sandwich if we don't add Cajun. Now let's mix our dry ingredients. 
It's time to come on this dip, baby. Come on this dip. <laughs> yeah, I never used to dance at the club for a reason. All right, now it's time for us to dip our lion's mane little patties. First, we're gonna dip it into the wet batter. I made the batter nice and thick. It worked out when it comes to pressing the lion's mane and creating this patty that's really, really quick. I'm not worried about the taste. Flavor gonna be there. I'm just as worried about the texture. We're at 370 degrees. But I'm gonna add a lot. Some lettuce, add some red onions. What a beautiful trip down memory lane. I'm down to go down memory lane anytime it's gonna inspire something beautiful like this sound. Now it's time to take that bite. You heard the crunch earlier. I should warn my neighbors, but I'm just gonna blame it on you guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mm. Wow. Look at the inside of it. I can't wait for the next episode. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. And I look forward to you joining me next time we do. This recipe reminds me of. Peace. Boy, I used to be in the club. <laughs> See that pause? You see that move, it's too late. But that's how I used to get down, I'm kidding. <laughs>